In geometry, there are just a lot of terms, and here are just two more terms related to angles. They're called vertical angles and linear pairs. And what are those? Well, linear pairs, starting with those, can be seen here. We have two angles, angle 1 and angle 2. And you can see that those are supplementary angles because they add up to 180 degrees. At least their measures add up to 180 degrees. Angle 1 and angle 2 are also called linear pair because their non-common rays are opposite rays. So you can see that this ray right here from where uh, the three rays meet with the end point to the left and from the end point to the right, these are not common to the two angles. This is the only common ray. So the two rays that are not common are opposite rays. And that's the definition of two angles that are a linear pair. When we look at this here, we can see that we have two lines that intersect one another and therefore we have what we could call four rays. Now we have angles 3 and 5 and we have angles 4 and 6. Angles 3 and 5 are vertical angles and so are 4 and 6. What is the requirement for vertical angles? They are vertical angles because their two sides form opposite pairs of rays. So you can see these are the two sides of angle 3 these are the two sides of angle 5. This and this ray are opposite pairs of rays, or are opposite rays, and this ray and this ray are opposite rays. So each angle has a pair of rays which form opposite rays to the other angle, and therefore they're called vertical angles. You will also sometimes hear the term opposite angles because they appear opposite to one another. 3 and 5 are opposite to one another, 4 and 6 are opposite to one another, but the term here used they're vertical angles because their two sides form opposite pairs of rays. And that's the definition. So now we know what vertical angles are and what linear pairs are. Just two more terms to try and remember.